And the conclusion of the battle between uh, Diego uh, of the Brethren of the Coast uh, and Henry Morgan and the uh, British uh, Buccaneers. So uh, let's see what uh, let's see what happened. So if you remember from the last video, uh, Captain Morgan was in trouble here, right beside that casualty marker. Um, he did actually, uh, he didn't actually get the first draw. He got the uh, Enterplog, which you can see is an Amelie here, and I'll get to that in a minute, uh, ended up uh, forcing them to retreat. So uh, they were shaken, they went right into this cave, uh, and then he came out on the other side here, as you can see there's uh, Captain Morgan and what's left of the Sea Dogs, one Sea Dog. Uh, they narrowly escaped from there. Um, and uh, nearly uh, just died right there. Uh, so, if you remember, the free, uh, the Freebooters and the uh, Forlorn Hope were coming up in here. Um, they ended up in the final uh, melee here with the Interplog. The Interplog took on both units, um, and uh, Diego's Marines were able to uh, go up this path uh, by the uh, by the gateway here and ended up in a melee battle with uh, uh, the second unit of Sea Dogs. Uh, I see the Marines are down to three Marines and Diego, uh, and there's still five Sea Dogs, so that battle could have been interesting. Uh, but Diego got uh, fairly close, if you remember, this is the uh, treasure marker he was trying to get. He's not within four inches, um, but he got close. He got closer than uh, Henry Morgan did, so on this side, uh, he had to get to the temple uh, in the closest unit of the freebooters and they're much further away um, So they, they do get a strike point because uh, Henry Morgan is the attacker uh, And uh, they have to get it within four inches of that chest uh, Which I remind you is in the temple here um, And uh, so he didn't uh, he didn't achieve that so uh, by the end of the match So he got a strike point for that Henry Morgan also got a strike point for having uh, over 50% of his forces uh, eliminated in this match. So that uh, leaves him with three strike, strike points. Um, and unfortunately, Henry Morgan was defeated in this one. So Diego is the uh, winner. The defenders uh, were able to uh, stop them. So I just want to take a look over here real quick and see what happens to these guys. Um, so this marker is the native unit, uh, the native musketeers. They were in here, this jungle, for the longest time. They did, uh, you remember, they were uh, fighting the capers on the other side there. Um, they did get to fight, uh, they did defeat the capers. Uh, but uh, uh, they just did, they were attacked by both of these uh, uh, filibusters and uh, that was it for these guys. <laughs> they kind of retreated back here. They tried to evade as long as they can. They uh, managed to dodge a few uh, charges, uh, but at the end of the day, this is just too much, uh, too much uh, military. To, there was only five uh, native uh, musketeers left uh, by the time they got retreated back here. So they were defeated over here. So, but they held this position for a long time, but just couldn't get uh, broken through. Now this unit of uh, uh, filibusters also supported uh, the Marines over here. Uh, and as you can see, there's another marker here. Uh, this was the other freebooter unit um, that was destroyed. Uh, they were <laughs> hit or miss for a long time. They were uh, shaken and not shaken, retreated. There was like three of them for the longest time, but uh, eventually they met their demise right there. Uh, so overall, uh, a pretty, a pretty uh, bloody battle. Nobody actually got each other's uh, booty here or treasure. Uh, in this raid scenario, uh, but uh, it favors the defender as uh, they only had to keep uh, Henry Morgan there for uh, be within four inches of uh, the treasure, which they did easily. Um, so that's it for this one. 
I hope everybody uh, enjoyed this uh, land battle. I'm hoping to do maybe another amphibious assault next. Uh, kind of just kind of switching back and forth between them. Uh, and then we'll go back to another sea battle. Uh, just uh, to just get us shake it up a little bit and give something different every time. All right. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.